Now, the red line will indicate to you the progress... We Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special treat for you this afternoon. We'll be speaking with a representative of the Muck and Meyer Development Corporation. Sir, I beg your pardon? we're going to do a radio interview, and... Uh, oh, oh, certainly. Uh, uh, your name is... Uh, uh, Wade. Wade? Yeah, Wade? Wade through. Wade through, I say. They call me Wade. You are a representative of the Muck and Meyer Development Corporation, is that... Uh, uh, Muck and Meyer Development Corporation, that's right. Is that uh, a large organization? Uh, uh, large and getting larger. Yes, it's going to be tremendous. Well, I can what type of an organization is it, Wade? We encourage people mm -hmm. to invest for their own good in land, of course, and uh, we have these entire areas of land throughout the country. We've had some big development areas already uh, that have progressed uh, through our efforts. You, you buy land and then sell it? Oh, yes, it? yes. We have, uh, we have several places around the country right now. I, I could mention some to you, but it would take a long time. Well, go ahead. We've got a little well, time. Well, just a couple. We have the Swampland Lagoons. Swampland Lagoons? Yeah, that's out in Florida. Uh-huh. What is that exactly? Is that... Uh, well, it's, it doesn't it's, sound too enticing. Uh, uh, well, you know, no, what's not? I wouldn't say that it was enticing in a sense. But on the other hand, who knows what's under that swamp? That's right. I uh, mean, they discovered marble in Alabama under swamp, you know. Uh -huh. And there's no telling what they'll discover in Florida. They discover part of Alabama. <laughs> The part that was, the under, part the that was under the yeah, <laughs> I see. Well, uh, I guess there's a trick, isn't there, to buying land? What uh, should one know before they buy? Oh, land? a number of things. One thing is is weather. Weather is extremely important. Weather, temperature. Yeah. For example, when we bought the Great Northwestern Ice Slides, <laughs> we didn't go up there in the summer. <laughs> uh, we're doing great stuff here. I mean, the way I see it, we have uh, the Barren River Straits. We're working on that right now. That's here in Kentucky, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and that's going to be our biggest thing to date. Well, uh, hey, could River you describe the, that land for us? Oh, I can. Uh, actually, it's... Uh, you've heard of an arroyo, haven't you? A what? An arroyo? No, sir. That's where rivers used to be. Well, a barren river is going to be sort of seasonal. I mean, we have there the... Uh, so sometimes it's water, sometimes it's not. We, we have the Moses Tributary that comes in <laughs> once a year. And uh, actually, the homes there are going to be on pontoons. Pontoons? Yeah, with 100-foot ropes tied to shore. <laughs> and as a side company, in case there's a little trouble, we have the anchor and boat service. I see. Yeah, it's going to be a terrific thing. I, listen, you, don't, uh, you wouldn't like to make a little investment, would you? Uh, how much could one buy a plot of land for in the Barren River Straits? Well, let me put it this way. You may think it's a big investment, but our down payment is so low. Our, our down payment is, well, I'll tell you what we'll do for you. We'll give you an acre of bottom land right in the Barren River. For 50 bucks. And that's only a beginning. Because <laughs> the bigger that river gets, the more your money's I worth. I suppose it would be. Oh, yes. you'll have fertile land there. Think of your undersea crops. I mean, oceanographers want that area. <laughs> but we're keeping it for people. We're working people like yourself, a family man. You're a family man, are you not yes, married? Yes, sir. Huh? That's right. Mm -hmm. You're a salaried individual. We keep it for people like that because there's too many rich people in this country right now. At least that's the way I've always felt. How did your company come about with its name, Muck and Meyer? That's... Uh... Well, it is kind of catchy. Yes, it is. <laughs> Actually, uh, we were rained out of a couple of places, and uh, we were doing some work in India during the monsoon. Uh, some years ago, we were going over there to try to, uh, to help the Indians out <clears throat> of their money. And... Um, well, it got rained on. They call them the monsoons over there. And actually, we were pretty well bogged down. We were going to call it the Bogged Down Construction Company. <laughs> but there was a, one of the fellows married a girl whose maiden name was Bog. You know how that is. And it gets to be a mess. So we call it Muck and Meyer. Muck and Meyer. Yeah. And it's, got, it's got a, 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 a lusty type of uh, old western... Yeah, and it helped us because there were a couple of our creditors. And they, they let us <laughs> use the name. It, you know, you name something after somebody, they feel good about it, you know. Anyway, it's, uh, it's been a terrific hit ever since that name, as a matter of fact. We started, to go, we started to go straight up. We got the plane out of there as quick as we could and uh, <laughs> went to Idaho for a while. Idaho's a big from, potato. From India to Idaho. Yeah, we like really the eyes. up on the eyes. Yeah. yeah, the eyes have it. And uh, at least that's what I've always said. Well, how long have you been with the Muck and Meyer Development Corporation? Twelve days. But the company's... <laughs> Having only been with the company for 12 days, how do you know all this stuff about the company? Well, I'm not the kind of guy that just jumps into things. You right. can understand that by looking at me. Right. You know. Actually, this suit I'm wearing ought to tell you something. You know the way a man dresses. It's made of genuine cloth. But I, I'm the kind of guy that does a little research. Right. When I first, I was skeptical, as I know you must be, about right. the Mark and Meyer company. But uh, I did a little research, and I found out that there was a lot of land on their property. And I thought, well, this must be a good place to get in, you know, to go to work for these people and find about. So I went over, and they said I was what they were looking for, a guy who really knew where it was and was going to try to get it. And you were hired on, right on the spot. I was hired right on the spot, actually, because we didn't have any chairs in the office. And um, 
I went right to work immediately for them. I, I took their brochure and I, I read it, read the page through. And um, I knew right away that, you know, those 12 sentences were going to make me a rich man. What were those 12 sentences? What did they say? I don't know what they said exactly, but they said a lot of things like keep your chin up. And of course, in our land, you kind of have to because, like I say, we <laughs> seem to have gotten a lot of rainy places. <laughs> Wasn't I reading a few uh, few weeks ago where the Muck and Meyer Development Corporation has uh, come under congressional fire, is going to be uh, investigated by the Senate Judiciary Committee for uh, unfair developing tactics? Well, I'll tell you. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to come clean with you because I like your face. I'm serious about this. That's just a disgruntled employee who made up a lot of false material, a lot of false forms, and sent them to the government. We welcome that investigation. I mean, we welcome it. We're proud of what we've done, and that's this disgruntled employee, Sam Sorehead. He was there. He worked for us for a while. As a matter of fact, I took his place. I see. You took Sam Sorehead's place. Huh? Sam left suddenly. And uh, as a matter of fact, I don't think he'll show up at the hearing. But uh, <laughs> we have a thorough and complete operation here, and I know that once the Senate investigating committees find out about it, and realize that their checks are in the mail. <laughs> Wade, have you uh, invested in land from Muck and Meyer yourself? Let me tell you, pal. I'm not a guy. I'm not a front runner. I'm a person who has invested himself. I've got a beautiful home in the Swampland Lagoon. You have a home in, That's the, in the Swampland. That's correct. Beautiful. Split level. Split level? That's right. Split level. I didn't intend it to be that way, but one end of it just sunk in the ground. <laughs> sunk into the swamps, is it? Oh. I guess it's a little tricky building on swamps. Well, it's a little tricky, actually, but if you're fast on your feet, you can get out of there alive. <laughs> well, Wade Through of the Muck and Meyer Development Corporation, I want to thank you for being on our show this afternoon. It's been very enlightening, and I realize you have to run. You mentioned something about an appointment. Is yeah, that's right, pal. I've got an appointment at the federal building. Another land deal? Oh, I think this might be a time deal. <laughs>